Hi everyone, my name is Kristen and I am the Curator of Community and Academic Programs here at the Biggs Museum of American Art. Uh, the Biggs Museum is located in historic downtown Dover and we have a collection of art and decorative arts ranging from the 1700s through practicing artists today. We're located on the second floor in the Hudson River School Gallery, looking at the U.S. landscapes that inspired people to explore this country. Now, all of the paintings in this room are made by the Hudson River School in the mid-1800s. Now, the Hudson River School got its name because it's a group of artists who were originally inspired by the scenes all along the Hudson River in New York. However, they eventually ended up expanding what they were painting to include both real and imagined scenes all along the westward expansion routes and the Grand Canyon, as well as Canadian scenes, such as the Canadian Niagara Fall, which you can see here. This painting, created by an Irish immigrant who worked in Wilmington, Delaware for a while, demonstrates the scale of the falls. He does this by having a high horizon line. A horizon line is the line you get when the sky touches the earth. And at the bottom of the painting, all the way down here, we can see some small figures besides the falls showing us the large scale that the Canadian side of Niagara Falls would have. Now, let's explore a few other paintings we have in this room. So here in the third floor in the Gilded Age Gallery, I am sitting in front of what is called a sideboard cabinet, which is this object right here. This sideboard cabinet was made in the 1870s of walnut wood and is considered arts and crafts. Now, the arts and crafts movement is a group of artists who come together and they decide that they're tired of objects being machine made, that everything looks the same, everything has perfect lines, and they were tired of that. They wanted to be more original, more unique. And so they started designing furniture to be completely handmade, to have a lot of decorations, to have a lot of different things that made it look unique. And like I said, handmade. Today our Bigs Kids workshop has to do with ancient Greek cultures and art. So as I said, we're inside the Greek Revival Gallery. Now the Greek Revival started in the early 1800s and went until about 1850. So all of the artwork inside this gallery is going to be made during that time period. And even though we have things like sculptures, we have furniture, we have some paintings as well, even though they're different types of art, they all have something similar. And that is that they are looking at and inspired by ancient Greco-Roman art. Now, Greco-Roman is referring to both ancient Roman art and ancient Greek art. So we're gonna see some similarities. And behind me, we have some images from our current exhibition entitled Tony Fursell in Italy with the Tuskegee Airmen. Tony Fursell was a fashion photographer. So this is a person who takes photographs for typically for magazines that showcase sort of the glamour of clothing. Now, Tony Fursell ended up actually in this project going and photographing the Tuskegee Airmen. 
Now, the Tuskegee Airmen refer to the 922 people who took part of the Army Air Force African American Pilot Program. Uh, this includes the pilots, the navigators, the maintenance crews, and any support staff that took part of this program.